Hi everyone and welcome to another review from Class 47 Peter and in today's review we're going to be having a look at a new arrival that's just arrived in the post and today we're going to be having a look at the DJ Models Class 71 electric locomotive now this particular model is exclusive to Hatton's because currently at the moment Hatton's are doing their sale of the century and they've got lots of items discounted at the, mo at the moment where they basically reduce the price of loads of items and one of the items I noticed was this which is this DJ Models Class 71 which is in the BR Southern Region light green with the full golden arrow headboards, arrows and flags which are pre-fitted to this model now this model normally costs around £139 but this model now costs at the moment during Hatton's sale of the century, it's now priced at £99. And I have always liked the Class 71s, they are quite interesting locomotives. Plus, I have longed for a Class 71 in my collection. Plus, it's a Southern Region locomotive, and I am a sucker for Southern Region locomotives. I am a big Southern Region man, so I couldn't really say no to one of these. And something I've always wanted to do is to recreate the Golden Arrow train on my layout. And now that I have this model which has the Golden Arrow headboard flags and arrows fitted on it, I can do that. Because I've seen pictures of the real locomotives in archive footage of the Class 71's pulling the Golden Arrow. And I thought, wow, I'd love to have something like that on the layout. And with this model, now that I have it, I can de now do that. But anyway... Enough of the talking, let's get this model open and see what it's like. So this is the packaging that we get. We get a CAD there on the front of the model of the locomotive and a very nice design of box as well. Very firm and rigid that is. So I'll put that down to one side. Then we have the exploded diagram for the Class 71. As you can see there. And on the back it tells you all the parts that there is to this model and there's numbers by them. So basically this is sort of like a spare sheet. So if you lose a part or a part gets damaged then you can basically order a replacement. So I'll put those to one side. Then we have the instruction manual for this model. It talks to you about the real locomotive. It talks about the controller to use this for and lubrication, running the model in, talks to you about the pantograph as well, fitting DCC sound and DCC fitting it as well, taking the body off and fitting the detail parts. So now we take away this foam cover And there we have the model, which we'll just take out of the box now. The packaging then goes to one side. Then we remove the outer plastic sleeve. And we can now have a look at the detail parts in the accessory bag before we go on any further. So the details we get in the accessory bag include two NEM tension lock couplings, the front valances, chain link couplings, southern rail pickup shoes and some other various bits of details as well including some air pipes. So with the detail parts in the accessory bag now looked at we can now finish the unboxing of this locomotive. So basically we undo the multi-closing packaging. And then we gently lift the model out. And 
then with the rest of the packaging put to one side we get rid of this cellophane sheet and we are now free to have a look at the model in detail now the first thing I'm going to talk about is the weight this is a very heavy model so there's a lot of weight in this model which is good because the weight creates the traction without the traction this model wouldn't be able to pull anything so all that weight means this model will easily be able to pull a lengthy train including one such as the Golden Arrow moving on to the detail now which we have sprung plastic buffers as you can see I don't have much care for sprung buffers as I've said many times before in these review videos but if you like your sprung buffers then they'll keep you happy on the front of the logo we already do have some separately fitted vacuum pipes and a jumper cable there on the front you can also see the dummy coupling hook there and the NEM socket there for the coupling to go into on the front we have the golden arrow headboard and flags which these are etched and the detail on that just looks absolutely stunning we have a couple of rivet detail as you can see and some separately fitted lamp irons we have the silver paint around the headlights there on the front which looks really nice and this model does have working lights so I'll be looking forward to seeing the lights light up on this model we've got separately fitted window wipers on the windows there as you can see glazing in the cab windows as well as the train reporting number fitted inside the model and I just love the white paint around the windows there on the front of the loco which is on both ends I mean that does look really nice as well as the black window seals as well there now this certainly cannot go unnoticed just look at the detail inside the cab of the loco that is just amazing it's all painted and that is just it's just mind blowing to look at it really is it makes this model look more like the real thing and the inside of the cab is also painted a cream colour as well which again really it lifts the interior but again it makes this model look all the more realistic like the real locomotive and it adds to the detail as well we've got separately fitted metal handrails on the loco that come from the side of the cab there under the window excuse the firework and round to the front just under the windows there on the sides of the door we have separately fitted metal handrails the treads there under the door the door tread look at the detail on that I mean that's just superb we've also got the locomotive's running number E5015 crisply printed on the sides and we've got the builders plates as well which they are separately fitted and they are etched and they look superb we've also got the golden arrow arrows fitted on the sides of the loco there they are etched and the detail on those is again fantastic we have beautiful crisp lining running down alongside the body there in between the grills we've got lots of rivet detail around the grills and I just love the textile quality of them as well and the detail of the grills is amazing it really is moving to the detail on the bogies now we can see where the southern rail pickup shoes fit into place but also we have the sand boxes there the springs and the axle boxes and all the pipe work there on the bogies I mean all the detail on the bogies is absolutely superb it really is and it really is a pleasure to just look at we've also got some superb detail on the battery boxes there I mean just look all the vents and the rivet detail on them that is just wow it's just unbelievable to look at moving on to the detail on top of the loco now on the roof first of all on the cab roof we have the whistles there which is what these are they are indeed whistles the detail on them looks brilliant and I love how that they're painted as well I mean just look at that it looks fantastic there's also plenty of rivet detail on the roof as well 
And of course we also have the pantograph on the roof as well. Which this locomotive, it could run in real life on the either the third rail or on the overhead wires. Now on this particular model, well they in real life they mostly run on the third rail. So with this model I'm not going to tend to raise the pantograph because I'm going to have this model with running without the pantograph raised up. But it can indeed be raised. But if you do decide to run this model with the pantograph raised, do be careful with it because it is a fragile bit of detail. But nevertheless, the detail on the pantograph, it looks absolutely amazing to look at. On the other end of the loco, we have again the golden arrow headboard and flags, lamp irons, working lights, glazing in the cab windows and window wipers. We have some details fitted on the buffer beam there and sprung plastic buffers. Moving on to the livery application of the model, and the livery application is just superb. Correct shade of green, very nice and evenly applied with no errors in the paint. It's just overall fantastic. And exactly as we expect it to be. And of course I couldn't leave out the BR like crests that are crispy printed on the sides of the body. And they just look brilliant. Turning the model round to the other side, you can see that the detail on this side of the body is different. There aren't as many grills on the sides of the body. We only have two grills, either side of this window, which on this side of the loco we do have the window there and the side. On the other side you don't have it, as per the real locomotive. But apart from that, the detail is all the same. Now I've currently got the model inside the loco cradle, because I was fitting the, this valance at the front here, and I had to put it in the cradle to fit it in. And I've noticed these switches on the model here, underneath the model. So these are basically for the lights. Cab lights and the marker lights. So this one, this switch at the top is for the cab lights and that one there is for the marker lights. And that's something I wasn't expecting to see on this model, so that's another very good feature that is on this model. Okay, so I've fitted some of the details to this model from the accessory bag. I've fitted the Southern Rail pickup shoes on the bogies. I've also fitted the air dome at the front of here, because this is the front I've chosen to have the loco as the front. I had to put the loco in the loco cradle though, because to fit the air dome in, it wasn't exactly easy. I've also fitted the chain link coupling and some of the vacuum pipes there on the front plus the air pipe as well as you can see there's the other pickup shoes I've added on the bogies and this is the end that I've chosen where I'm going to couple my stock up to so now we're going to come on to the running performance of this model so now we come on to the running performance of the model And as you can see straight from the box, she's a smooth runner. There ain't no grinding noises, motors burning out or anything of the sort. She runs exactly how she should, straight from the box. So I've now turned all the lights off in the garage to show you the working lights, and just look at that. 
the tram reporting number, the interior lights, and the marker lights at the front and the back of the loco, they all light up. And that just looks absolutely amazing when running in the dark. You can even see all the detail there in the cab there. Well, it doesn't seem to be showing on the screen on the camera right now, but you can see it. This model is just absolutely phenomenal. So now we come to the running performance for the DJ Models Class 71. And as you can see, she's pulling the rake of Pullman coaches, which makes up the train of the Golden Arrow, because the Golden Arrow was formed of Pullman coaches. Now there are seven coaches behind the loco and this just shows you why the weight is important because without the weight she wouldn't be able to pull any of these coaches. But I've got her going at a nice speed, not too fast and not too slow. So overall then, the DJ Models Class 71 in the BR Southern Region light green with the pre-fitted golden arrow headboard flags and arrows, it's a stunning piece of kit. It really is and I cannot fault it. It's an absolute flawless model. And I can't recommend this model enough. Please do, by all means, go out and get yourself one of these models because you will not be disappointed. I certainly am not. And more importantly, the dream of now wanting to 
recreate the golden arrow on my layout has now finally become a reality now that I have a class 71 to pull it something I did I am going to be doing at some point is putting a PMV at the back of the loco and a couple of the southern region green coaches mixed in with the Pullman coaches because that did happen I have seen quite a few photos on the internet and some archive footage of the class 71 with a PMV at the back or even two of them a couple of southern region green coaches and then Pullman coaches with them that's something I was going to do for this video but the PMV I have, I've had to reinforce the couplings on them because I think they'll place too high to be honest and not level with the couplings on that on the loco and the other stock so it was causing problems especially on bends so that's going to be something for a future video because I will be planning a running session with this model soon so overall then I'm going to rate the DJ models class 71 well you all know what it's going to be it's going to be a 10 out of 10 so thank you for watching this review on the absolutely stunning DJ models class 71 I'll see you again soon for the next review but until then check out more other videos subscribe to the channel get us to 2000 subscribers and I'll see you again soon take care for now